Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the middle of July. This is intended to be for the 16th through the 22nd, but whenever it resonates for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. If you're worried about your bank account, then this reading is not for you. Or if you are in a happy relationship, you shouldn't be watching a tarot reading. If this feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you will get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. What does Libra need to know? If you'd like a private reading, the information is in the description box below. An exciting opportunity. Perhaps a brand new one. I see a fresh new start here. Wonderful. Looks really good. But there's a lack of appreciation for it. Interesting. You may not accept this new opportunity. What the heck is this? There's an exciting new opportunity. This is, this, this is very exciting. There's a, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's a dare. Do you dare? Do you dare to do this? Do you dare to take a risk? Do you? Could lead to victory and success. But you're maybe a little confused about where your happiness lies. Maybe you're scared of a new commitment. Maybe you're committed to somebody else. Who knows what this is? Ooh, wonderful, Libra. Wow. Okay, so you guys fear disaster. You're really afraid. You're afraid to commit. Hmm. So there is a wonderful new opportunity. It's like you guys are finally receiving that golden opportunity. That golden opportunity is being presented to you. But your challenge, your challenge is confusion, illusion, fear, making the right choice. That's your challenge. Okay, how other people see. People see that you're confused. People see that you don't know what you want. You're in your head. You, you know, you want happiness. I can see that you do. You want that happy relationship. You want that happily ever after. But you may be confused about letting your guard down. Okay, making some compromises. Maybe you have to compromise for this happiness. And maybe you don't want to make any compromises. I feel like you are being given a fresh new start that leads to something solid, stable, and long-term, Libra. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, but your overall outcome is the tower reverse. You're stalling it. You're stalling it. You're pushing it away. You don't want a disaster. You don't want anything to fall apart again. It's already fallen apart before. You're really, you're really scared. You're scared of sacrificing your, your heart to uh, this new relationship or whatever it is, this new beginning that you're being offered. You're scared. You're scared. It's, it's pretty clear cut here. Um, fear of suffering. 
But, you know, you have options. You have options. What are you going to do? You know, it's time to take the next step. Be flexible. You know, do you, there's an opportunity for you no, to no longer be single. You know, if you are single, you know, maybe there's an opportunity right now, here today, this week, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever, to enjoy life with another person. It takes confidence. It takes strength. It takes willpower and discipline to face your fears, okay, to face your fears of giving up your independence. And that's why... I feel this is an issue. You Maybe you've been independent for quite some time and you're afraid. Maybe you've been hurt really badly and something ended in a disaster and you're really afraid. <sighs> I don't think you like being single. For some of you, you don't like it, but you have these fears are driving the show. There's a new opportunity for love here. Absolutely, there is. But you're hanging on to that old perspective. You're hanging on to the old ways. You know, you have to face your fears at some point. Okay, underneath it is a strength card, which is about facing your fears. You're holding on to whatever happened in the past. Working on your independence. You're liking your independence. You're growing. You're, you're, ma you're mastering yourself. I understand that. But sometimes things come into your life at uh, the... the at any time, for the right time, for the right reason. And now you are be given, being given a golden opportunity for happiness. That's what I see. And you're being called to take a risk. Liven up. Let yourself feel alive again. Come out of this period of rest. It's served you. It's enlightened you. Allow yourself to feel alive. You know, let's be logical here. It's time to do what's right for you. It's time to be strong and get back to your own happiness. You know what I mean? This is you, man or woman. Taking the lead. L allow yourself to Be who you are and do what you want and follow your own path and and above all, be logical. Be logical. This is your time to be appreciated. Allow somebody to appreciate you. You know, you're very indecisive. I can see that you are. You're indecisive. Fear of change. Fear of giving up your independence. Fear of the unknown. You may want to stay in the safe zone. It's safe where you're at. But it's not as happy as you'd like. I think you want somebody to love you. You want somebody to care for you. But you're really scared. Yes, you are. Yep, you're worried about it. You're very, very worried about what will come of this. If I open my heart and I give, you know, is, will I be rejected? Will I only get hurt? Am I making the right decisions? I still have regrets of the past. I haven't let go of them yet. And you're thinking about letting them go. You are. You're thinking about letting the past go. It's on your mind. Now we have the judgment card, which is karma, which is releasing the past. That's what it is. It's time to release the past. It's a time of forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person that hurt you. Forgive the person that made you feel like you can't give your heart again. Forgiveness is needed here. This is karma. This is the truth being revealed. It is time to walk away from that mentality of worry. It's time to walk away from it. It's time to release. It's time to wake up. You may receive some epiphany that helps you take that next step. You're being called to take the next step to be flexible. But you've been cheated, huh? You have been cheated and lied to and deceived. But 
you know, everything happens for a reason. That didn't work out for a reason. Whatever didn't work out, didn't work out because it wasn't meant to be. There was hidden forces here. And it's time for you to accept the reality and stop being confused. Don't let fear hold you back. Right now, fear is hold you, holding you back and you're deceiving yourself. You're doing yourself an injustice. Go out. Have some fun. Be playful. Allow yourself to be happy. For some of you, there could be a reconciliation, okay? Because with this judgment card, with the Three of Cups, for some of you, there could be a reconciliation with someone. But I feel as though at this time, this is, this is a oneness. This is about, maybe you manifested a reconciliation. I don't know, but this is about manifestation. It's about... Oh, oh, this is a, this just came to me. This is about being willing to shed the past. This is a, this is the willingness to take action, to shed the past, to refine your power and bring happiness back to your life. And this is shedding the past as well. So if go ahead and look the card up. The magician is about be the willingness to bring success to their life by taking action to release what no longer serves them. Using all the resources to heal, to grow, to manifest what is meant to be. But I have to remind you that you can't manifest what isn't meant to be. You cannot. And that's why this karma or judgment card comes up. Because you have to release things. You have to release the past. You do. And some of you will look at it in a different light. And you'll say, oh no, that's a resurrection. That's a reconciliation. For some of you, it could be, but for the majority, I don't think it is. The majority, you have, a, you have a new manifestation, a new opportunity for love, something that is very exciting. You could receive an invitation or a message from somebody that's very exciting, and it dares you to take it. It's like, oh my God, I really want to take this. It seems too good. You know, I really want this happiness. This could be my true golden opportunity, but I'm still hanging on to this past thing that didn't work out. But all the while, you've been dreaming about love because you really don't like being single. So you've been dreaming and you've been trying to manifest this other person, this reconciliation. I've been trying to manifest this reconciliation with who I think is the one. When the fact of the matter is, the universe knows who the one is. The universe is bringing in the one, the real one, even though you've been trying to manifest the wrong one. Because this is something that's been going on behind the scenes, something that you can't control. And you are being tested. A quiet test. Let's be practical here. You have to accept the truth at some point. Somebody has been denying the truth even though they know the truth. And you now are being emotionally guarded from letting anybody else in because the last situation ended in disaster. And now it's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone, stop lying to yourself, and remove this obstacle of the past from your life. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to be practical again. It's time to be see the truth of this situation. Seeing the light in all that is practical, that's what this card is. So I feel like this is a week of hopefully accepting this challenge, accepting this new opportunity that dares you to be happy, Libra. Allow somebody into your life. Allow this fresh new start. Allow this new beginning. Take a risk. It's time to feel alive again. It's time to be appreciated. It's time for you to be logical and practical. It's time for you to accept this truth once and for all. Truth, truth, okay? Just because the last one didn't work out doesn't mean that the next one isn't going to. I feel as though there's an opportunity for new love here if you would just allow it. And this theme has been going on for quite some time. You need a few more cards for Libra. A few more cards. I want to know. Yeah, reluctant to move on, huh? Loss of self, loss of direction, lack of discipline, unable to face your fears, loss of faith. When there's an opportunity for love, somebody is offering you love. Somebody is offering you romance. 
but you think that you know that the wrong one is the right one. Is that what you think? Somebody thinks that, you know, they know when they don't really know. There's something going on behind the scenes here. Absolutely. It's like a lack of awareness, truthfully. Lack of awareness about this new opportunity. This, this high priestess is, is repression. Repression of the truth. I refuse to see the truth, truthfully, okay? I refuse to see the truth that there's, there's, a, there's a golden opportunity looking me in the face, but I can't take it because I'm still holding on to something. Take, think, <laughs> let me think for a minute. Act now, think later. Accept this opportunity. Accept this opportunity, Libra. Accept this opportunity. Stop holding on to an obsession that doesn't serve you. It's not going anywhere. Whatever it is that you're holding on to isn't going anywhere. It's time to love yourself. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. And this is for man or woman. Somebody sees your beauty. Somebody sees your light. They see your worth. Allow them in. Allow them to love you. Somebody wants you really bad, Libra. This is the birth of a new situation, a new, a new life, a new path, a new relationship, a new love, and whatever it is. It's the birth of something new. But you're going to have to take a risk and accept the challenge. So I feel like there's an opportunity for love here that is given to you because of your beauty, your love, your compassion, and your light. Take it. Oh, love. Love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. You have an opportunity for love here, Libra. Please let this person, and I think it's a new person, love you. Even if it's self-love, because she can be self-love. When you get to this point, other people are drawn to you because you're vibrating that high. Very, very highly. She doesn't have to chase people or opportunities. People or opportunities chase her because of her vibration. So I feel like you have drawn somebody in who sees your beauty. Who sees your worth. But you have these fears of letting them in. <clears throat> From Archangel Michael, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. You have the power to change this situation and allow yourself to be loved, whether this is self-love or a new love. You have an opportunity to shine, to glow, to blossom, and to renew your soul, renew yourself. You have an opportunity for love, whether it's from another person or self-love. Allow it. Allow it. That's what I got. Talk to you later.